Well, good morning. Welcome to my mess. Do a little update, show what I'm doing here on my trailer. I uh, decided to turn the side of the trailer into a, a little work area. This is a, a vice I bought, a little six inch, uh, probably 30 years ago. Finally got it mounted. First time it's ever been mounted. I made a little work table right here. Now, all of these uh, pieces that I put on here come off of a uh, receiver, which you can see. That's one right there. And here's one right here. And I, I uh, got this idea. When I was changing over uh, one old lathe to another, I needed to get it off, off the ground so I could work on it. So I put a couple receivers, just came up with an idea, put a couple receivers, put one right here, and uh, this one here, as you can see, it's the first one I, I only put one uh, nut to hold it, which later on I found out that it works better if you've got one in the XY axis. So like here, it's got one down here and here, and that really stabilizes it a lot. But I, I did that, and uh, I, you can see I put this one. This is another, one of the first ones. And that way I had the correct distance uh, for the lathe bed to sit on so that I could start taking it apart. And then uh, I thought, well, I got room. I'll put another one here. And a friend of mine came up with the idea to mount my vise. Now, this little vise is an Allied, which uh, is one of the first tools I ever bought back in the late 60s. This, uh, this one's hung around with me all these years. I did think I had it mounted. I don't know, it had to be back in the late 60s, early 70s, and it's just been, everything's been stowed away. And I'm getting my stuff out and getting it set up here so I can actually use the stuff. And I, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Anybody's uh, done it is, you know, crimped for room. Uh, this, is a, this is one great idea. You get a two and a half inch, 3 16 wall tubing. That's clearance for a two inch tubing. Uh, I know you would think that a quarter inch wall would leave it at two inch, but here's what happens when you need clearance to get it in there and it will not slip. So uh, it's a little bit loose in there, but if you put two of these nuts on there, weld a nut down here and here in your XY axis, and you just tighten those. I'm using half inch, and you tighten them down, and that that puppy becomes really stiff. Now, I know uh, I had a half ton truck, and the receiver was rated at 500 pounds on the receiver. So I'm thinking that uh, these will easily be rated for 500 pounds. And my little workbench, this uh, six inch vise here, probably only weighs, you know. Uh, 50 60 pounds you can put stuff in it what I did here was I put one over the top of the other and I just uh, these are these are all I made them I started out six inch and the one underneath I made it eight inch to give me a little bit extra room uh, for tightening which uh, I don't know if you really need it but uh, I made the the two inch tubing that slides in a little extra long. I think I started out with 28 inches and went up to maybe 32. And that way you can uh, slide them in, slide them out. These right here is two little workbenches and they're pretty much evened up here. And this one right here is, is extended out. I like to put them out here let me show you. Uh, 
it's just that way they kind of come out the same every time and I just uh, hold my my hand here and just even them up I cap the tubing off to make them stronger so whenever you tighten down this bolt this is a tendency to push in there but it's not just a, a piece of uh, eighth inch wall tubing which I'm using 120 tubing on on this and yeah I put a cap on it makes it way stronger and so you can you can really wrench down on them this thing here is really tight if I pull on this it it will move the whole trailer uh, this little bench vise I know this is a uh, way past my my pre my 1900 pre 1900 trailer but uh, this right here none of this stuff will go to the show and I get it up here off the floor I can actually use this stuff uh, I, I bought this is a really large pipe vise which I remember I bought this thing probably it'll focus 30 is it gonna focus this is a uh, I think you can see it it's a uh, patented 1914 and this just set out in the backyard I'm gonna say probably in the mud and uh, when I started building all this stuff I started going in through and finding all my stuff this is my little uh, four inch uh, belt sander really comes in handy and and one thing about uh, putting these receivers in my particular case is uh, I have uh, I've actually got eight across here one side of the trailer and you can move them around uh, makes it uh, a very efficient or set up your workflow your work process any way you want and change them around this now this one right here I will leave on when I uh, or, or put it on when I get out to the show because this is a chinny uh, anvil vise and it was patented 1870 I don't know if that's a, is that a zero and uh, it, it, it doesn't look that old of a design, but uh, I, I do have some literature on it. And this is this is an an old uh, an old anvil vise. So just for its sheer age, it gets to be put on the trailer. Uh, this one right here is going to go on here. I I don't have a uh, grinder which is period correct for the trailer and this one will go on and this uh, I always liked this pipe vise this one is a uh, what is it 1914 and uh, it's got these arms and each arm they come up put your pipe in there and one side's for tightening and one side's for for uh, taking the, the pipes off and, and I really barely got started on this side. I put one right here. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm when I get uh, finished with this other side, this just gives me something to do. I've been out here tinkering around for the last couple of weeks and this is what I come up with. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, here's my porch swing and uh, a gentleman out at the show this last year was uh, ribbing me about, you know, giving comfort to people and having them sit down in the porch swing, and and he wanted a, uh, something to prop his feet up on, uh, Audubon or something. So what I did for this, if you look under here, this right here. Now this is two inch with the three sixteenths wall, which means it's clearance for inch and a half to be so what I'm, I'm going to do is is bring some out here and I'll have it at an angle and and uh, because this is I think I think I made this about 30 inches or something like that and uh, and the uh, two inch the uh, 3 16 wall actually stops right here and the rest of this which actually just a bunch of pieces of I ran out of metal, so I started uh, welding all my pieces together, making long ones. 
the uh, the two the inch and a half tubing will actually slide all the way through here. So what I'll and this will slide in here. So what, what I can do is make an infinitely variable uh, footrest, which will come out here and drop down. Uh, I'm going to set it up for my feet. I'm I'm about 5'10". I think this gentleman's like 6'2". But if I make the make it infinitely variable, uh, we can adjust it for how long your legs are, and uh, we'll be styling. We'll be setting in comfort. So that's uh, my little project. This one right here is coming along. Here's another vice that uh, I've probably had this one for uh, 40 years. I know I've had this 40 years anyway. This is a nice, uh, uh, oh, it's a Vulcan. There it is, it's hard to see. This is a, an old Vulcan chain pipe vise. And these are good, you can get uh, different size uh, piece of metal you're working on. And uh, and I made this one uh, with the 3 16 wall piece of tubing out the end of this one so that uh, I can actually make more than one footrest uh, at the size whoever uh, is sitting there whatever size how long their legs are we can adjust it to that and uh, I'm just having fun out here uh, tinkering around yeah give me something to do keep me out of trouble so when I finish this side I can uh, tinker around on the other side for a couple weeks uh, well leave a comment and um, Press the like button if you like it. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.